Hi, welcome back all of you. Nana here and then uh, we are into the next day's session actually. Uh, uh, in the previous session, uh, we have completed the moment request and then the picking rules for uh, your uh, lot controlled item and then along with the sub inventory and locators. So lot sub inventory and locators is the combination in which we have tested it actually. Now, what you're going to do is we are now going to create an item which is going to be having a lot expiry and then revision control. So lot expiry and revision control, we are not tested. So this time we are going to test it up on lot expiry and revision control. Right? I don't know. Let me share the screen and then go there. So here, uh, what I do is, uh, uh, one second, I will go there. And then I will know. Put the participants also over there. Let me arrange my thing. Uh, and then now, let me hide. So before we begin, what happens, we will know, see some amount of theory also on this now, right? Some amount of theory. We will not go there. So let us know what happens. Open up this. Go to my one. I will now open up my Fusion Inventory Product Data Hub directory. Right? Inventory Product Data Hub directory. I'm opening it up. So there, I will now go to the Fusion Inventory documentation. So on the Inventory Product Data Hub directory, I'm opening up the Fusion Inventory documentation. So in this, what happens, I go to the Moment Request directory. So there is a Moment Request here. So if you click on it, fine, double click on it. This is a Moment Request. I have forgotten to explain you the theory, theoretical part of it to a great extent, actually. So let me again fully explain it, actually. So whenever you are receiving raw materials, what happens, you will be having a put away process in the WMS. Fine, WMS is a separate uh, one now, fine here. The instance itself is, the, is a different one, lock file instance, through which what happens, you will be uh, loading RMS 1, 2, 3, 4 in a uniform fashion, actually. So the put away process, the picking, the, 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 the what happens, the put away rules will be doing it, actually. And then it will now, right? And then from that, what happens, you will be picking it up from BIP, actually. And then once you pick it from RMS, what happens, it will be getting manufactured. And then finally, it will come to FGS. And then from FGS, when you do a pick again, fine, based upon the last in first order and first in first order of your, what happens, your picking rule, it will be getting allocated automatically. So the allocation process will now allocate it automatically. So once the allocation is completed, it will now be giving you a confirmation. It will now give you a permissive to move from the, one of the FGS into the staging area, actually. It will now give you a permissive. So through that, what happens, uh, it will now give you a permissive and then afterwards the inventory in charge will now print the pixel report and then hand over to the inventory boys and then he will now pick it up from here and then do it. So here, uh, movement request and then the picking rules will not be manual at all. Very, very rarely we'll be using it manually. But in reality, what happens, you'll be using it automatically. So there are three automatic processes, let us say in the manufacturing area. There are three automatic processes. So let us say RMS1 is the main sub-inventory and then it's going to have a very huge volume of storage actually. Whereas the RMS 2, 3, 4 are very near to the manufacturing area, which will be having space constraints. Actually. So when you have a space constraint, what you have to do is you have to, what happens whenever the whip is now going to create, what happens, it's going to pick it up. So this is called a material pick moment request, which is going to be automatic. So the material pick moment request will also be having the LIFO, FIFO, last in first load, first in first load combination. The same picking rule is applicable also. And then it will now pick up from one of the sub units based upon the LIFO, LIFO PIFO, which has been configured on the picking rule. So it will be picking up. So these sub units will be, what happens, they're getting emptied over a period of time. So we, this is one way of, this is called material pick moment request. There is the first one, right? Material pick is the must one. The second one is what? When any of the RMSs is, is now going to, what happens, they get exhausted now, fine. We'll now set up a minimum level and then we will now run the min max plan. So the min max planning will be triggering a replenishment moment request. That will be picking up from the main store or otherwise you can even uh, what happens, bring it from another org or another supplier, which you're going to see next week actually. So, uh, or in this week, it may not be in this week actually. In the next, in the, in this Saturday, we won't be seeing it. So the next Saturday, we are going to see the replenishment moment request. So there is, a, there is a second type of moment request. First one is what? Material peak moment request from manufacturing. And then the replenishment moment request from inventory. The third one is what? Whenever the sales order needs the material, it will be creating a pick wave moment request. So these are the three automatic moment requests. One is the material pick moment request, one is the replenishment moment request, and then one is the pick wave moment request. So the pick wave will be picking in from the finished goods inventory, and then it will be dropping into the staging area. Actually. So we'll have the staging activity of cleaning, taking net weight, packing in boxes. So this, this activity will now vary from company to company. So they're all staging activities. So once when it's completed, we will now perform a ship confirm and then 
keep the vehicle uh, material on the vehicle with the customers and go to the rest of the customer again. So this portion will be dealt in order management actually. So now in this uh, training, we are going to see about what? Picking it up on all the sub and then bring it to the staging area. Okay, fine. Or any, any sub -inventories. So we are going to test it only manually. Fine. So while we are doing the replenishment moment request, we'll be testing it automatically. Okay, fine. That will be doing it for both for what? From sub inventory to sub inventory and then supplier to sub inventory and then from another or to sub inventory. All the three will be testing it in what happens uh, your uh, <coughs> uh, replenishment moment request. Fine. There is one more thing also. Fine. Movement of material between two sub is also via transfer orders. Fine. We can even move material between two sub inventories. It's called inter sub inventory transfer orders. That also will be seeing it actually. Fine. So that also you'll see all the all the four things will be seeing it actually. So now apart from that, what happens? They will be having one more thing here. Now fine. If you go to the moment about lab lab exercise, fine. So in the lab exercise, what we have done is uh, we have already tested it for what? <clears throat> we have tested it for what happens? Your lot control and then sub inventory and then locate. So lot is the first one. And then the second priority is subunity, and then the third priority is located. So we are now tested everything. All this now fine. I have now only completed only three. Afterwards, what happens? You simulate and then see. <clears throat> Even the enforce lot also. I made a mistake, and then for what happens? It was not coming properly. You don't make a mistake. Fine. And then exactly test as per the desired one. And then test even further also. Fine. So whatever way you want to do it, you can do it. Also. <clears throat> so that way it works now fine. All the transactions are there. So this exercise is going to be done. And then there is one more document there now. If you go there, if you go to the shipping now, fine. In my if you should invent documentation, we go to the shipping now. Fine. Go to the shipping. If you open it up, go there. So if you open it up, <coughs> so you can now see this one. So here, what happens? You will be having order management. Order management is having what we should order entry as well as a shipping execution. <coughs> Karthike and you saw it very later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the fusion shipping execution has got two parts. One is what a pick release process actually. So the pick release process is nothing having having two parts now actually. One is the release, release of the pick as well as confirming the pick. So the confirm pick will now give you what happens a permissive to move from one of the sub inventories into the staging area. Fine. The confirm picks will now give you a permissive. So once with the permissive obtained, then what happens the inventory in charge will now print the pick slip report, give it to the inventory boys. You will ask him to physically move the material from one of the sub inventories into the staging as per the uh, picking which has been done. So that way it works now, fine. So, but what happens, uh, there is no explicit confirmation of the physical movement actually. The physical movement from one of the FGS to staging, fine. You can't do it, any confirmation of the system actually. So once where the system has given you a permission to move, fine, like a big confirmation, <laughs> you only have to move. <clears throat> so it is assumed that you have moved, fine. So uh, we don't have any back confirmation that you have physically moved, fine. That is not there in the system actually, fine. One thing is upon pick confirmation, the system gives you a permissive to move. So this way it works. So we have seen all the three automatic moment, uh, moment request picking rules combination. And then now we are going to test it with a manual one item. With a manual one, I'm going to test it. So go back to And then here, what happens? I will not go to the uh, what happens? You go to this place, fine. So in this place, if you go there, if you go to the additional docs records, fine. I'm opening it up, fine. Double click on it. I made one file called 12th one as a lot revision exercise, actually. I made one file called lot revision exercise. So let me open it up. Now. So open up. So there's one now. Fine. Let me open up the lot revision exercise. Right. So this is on the additional docs records file. Fine. Uh, open it up. I'm opening it up. Fine. Right. No open up. So we have two revisions of A and A1. And then we have four lots actually. And then they have different expiring. They're expiring on different dates actually. And then 100 quantities. So let me first of all upload this document into our uh, folder actually. Otherwise, I will forget it actually. No, 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 go there. So let me upload it into the system actually. I will now go to the my drive now. Fine. So I'll open up the fusion inventory PDH training. Right? So let me open it up. And then when you're coming in a haphazard manner, what happens? You give a sort now. Right? Click on the what happens? There? Click on this one and I'll sort it. Now. Once when you sort it out, it will be coming properly. So I will now go to the additional docs records. Fine. Right? The classroom records are there. I hope that you have already completed all the 15 records now, fine. So till now, 15 are there. So complete everything. And then this is the 16th one, which I'm going to upload now, fine. So please uh, do everything very properly. Otherwise, what happens? You'll be lagging behind and then you won't find time at all. Whenever time permits, what happens? Immediately start to practice each and everything. This is the 16th record, which is going to be coming up now, fine. I will not go to the place, fine. I will not open the 5th one now, fine. Double count. And then the 12th one, I'm going to upload. Click on it. Let me upload the 12th. File upload. <clears throat> go there. So the 5th one. So the 12th one, I'm uploading it. Fine. So that will also be available for you to download now and download the 12th one also. <coughs> so as I meant, it will not happen. So let us now go there, click on it. We are now going to create an item which is going to be a revision control. Fine. And then lot control also with the expiry. 
Previously, we are now going to not without expiry. Now we are going to create an item with the expiry, actually, not expiry. Mm -hmm. So we'll not go there, go to the system, and then what happens? We'll go there, we'll not go to the place. So let us now click on the home icon and then let us now create an item which is going to be a revision and lot expiry control. You go to the product management and go to the product information management and then click on the task list and then go to the create item. And then I'm going to create it in the master now, fine, zero, 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 fine, all that. And then the root item class is coming, fine, FG, everything. This has been fully explained. If it is not coming properly, what to do has been fully explained, fine, click on it. So it is now giving you a warning. You can ignore the warning. All warnings can be ignored, fine. No problem at all, fine, you can ask. Go ahead. And then go there. I will now put my item, fine. It's going to be T0101. I will now say, uh, lot, fine, expiry. And then revision control, rev control. So it's going to be a lot expiry and then revision control right now. Take off it and then put the description. Again. And then before putting the name and description, any issue that what happens, your item status and life cycle is having a filled up. And then in the specific, in the overview, what happens, all the four are filled up. So only when this, if uh, some of the templates are applied, what happens, it's not becoming properly. So in this case, what happens, you see, ensure all the four, six are completed. Then only you put the item name and description. Otherwise, what happens, it will not give you a problem while saving it. Fine. Into that. So first, these six must be on. Then only what happens, you put the item name and description. Fine. You go to the specifications, I go there. I will not go to the inventory. I will not go to the inventory. And then I will not enable the lot control. Are you able to hear me? Can somebody say yes to me? Is my voice clear for you? <clears throat> yes, sir. Karthi, are you? Are you yes, yes. Yeah, Karthi, Karthi. Karthi again, Parni, are you there? Yes, madam. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, yeah, I'm able to hear you. Okay, please. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll now make it to the full control. Now, fine, click on full control. So whenever you're making a full control, what about the starting prefix and lot number are mandatory, actually, fine. I will now put some lot, no, fine. I will now say some underscore some number. I'm not going to use it, but I will be using it as per my plan, actually. So as per my plan only, I'm going to put the lots, actually. I'm not going to use it. So on the right hand side, we are not given the shelf life control in the previous class. Now, what happens? I'm going to make it that user defined expiration date. Fine. So there is another thing called what item shelf life days. So that means what when you receive it, let us say five days after five days, it gets expired, and then this is having a control. Once when the date is expired, we cannot issue out at all. Fine, it is expired. So it's a very sensitive one. There's a, there's a one, and I'll now make it a user defined expiry date. So we are going to give an expiry date of different dates. Different lots will be expiring on different different dates as per the plan actually. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will now make the revision control adjustment. No, no, just a question here. You tell me, yeah. So when you say it's not transactable, then how uh, expired item will be removed out of the system? Even though it's transactable, if it is expired, you cannot do it. Then what's the way to get it out of the system? Then, then you have to ex ex extend the expiry date. Oh, okay. If you don't have a visa, if you have only a passport, can you travel to US now? Not possible. See, I have a valid, valid passport. Valid okay. passport is a prerequisite for traveling to US now. You have a valid visa, but you don't even have a passport, then also you cannot travel. No? <laughs> so basically, like if the system, like I, I see it's like a perishable item, it's called... Uh, yeah, perishable, perishable item perishable. will be expiring over a period of time, from five days or something. Then I want to discard that item uh, as a scrap. No, item need not be discarded. You can extend the expiry date in the managed lots. Managed lots, you go there and then extend the expiry date, then it will be eligible for issue also. Right. In the managed lots, you can very well do it. So oh. Right click on that, what happens? The duplicate. So I don't know whether any will be having any lot controlled items or not. I'm not sure about it. I'm going to go and make it check. And click on it. So we'll now see whether any lot control items are available now. I duplicated it and then go there. So I will now go to the home icon and then I go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management now. I'll now go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. So go there. Click on the manage lots and go to the manage lots. So since I don't know which is now having it, fine. I will not say 001 is I fine organization. I click on OK. And then here, what happens? You go on and make a search. We'll not see whether anything is coming. Item is now asking for it. Okay? Oh, God. A lot between me. You need some item which is just to be lot control. Fine. Yes. And then uh, make a search. No, fine. Click on search. Yes. Do you have any item? I'm click on search. You get it to be get it. No item is no lot control, actually. So I will not show you in this itself. Fine. One, when you complete it, will not show it in this place. So you go there, click on it. So I've now made it as what? Revision control is this, and then lot control is a full control with the user defined expiration date. And there are two things. You can go there. Give a save. And click on save. So go there. Give a save. So click on save. 
So once we'll say, what about the, you know, see, no, see, no, 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 I go to the associations and then what about I go and then associate with the child or I go to the actions and then go to select man and go to select man. And then here, what about I know, see, is a zero, zero, one, the org in which, what about I'm going to assign it now, man, select it and then uh, click on apply and then click on that by which, what about it gets assigned to the child org actually. So give a save and close by which, what about the item is now created to the master org and then to the assigned to the child org also, fine. Drop down and then give a save and close. And then let us now query for the item in the child org actually. So A revision is now created. So I will now go to the what happens? I will now go to the what uh, this browse items and then I will now query for the item T0101. T0101. And then I make a search and I click on search. Go there. And then here, the bottom one is the 001, the top one is the 000. So I will now click on the hyperlink on the 001 org item. Now click on the hyperlink on that. So the item is now coming up fine. Go, go to the actions and then here, what happens? You go there and then go to the what happens the revisions no fine manage revisions remember revision is not an attribute fine revision is not an attribute attributes will be having or controlled attribute and master controlled attribute future now fine ocmc features whereas revision do not exhibit that future at all now you can see this is now created at 7 50 am fine it may be a uk time i think probably fine and then go there i am not going to get a new version fine click on plus i am not getting a new version for e1 e1 and then I will not say is a bright headlight of a car. So we are manufacturing car, and then A1 revision is having a bright headlight. So is a cost reduction also fine? Uh, the customer required, customer requested this one, and then give a date. Fine. It must be after 750. <laughs> Click on it. <laughs> if you go there, it will say what happens? It is now backdated actually. It must be forward dated actually. And go that one. <laughs> Click on OK now. Fine. I will now make it as what? 752. Fine. 751. Fine. Click on save and close. We will not see whether there is no saving. Or not. It got saved. <laughs> so on the child or if you go to the actions and then again go to the manage revisions, we have got two revisions of A and then A1. And then normally what happens uh, whenever you are performing a pick, we will be doing what happens uh, the revision descending by dates actually, and not by number actually. If you give a revision by number, if you are going to what happens uh, sort it by revision number, so it will not take the alpha numeric value of the revision number and then afterwards calculate it. Sometimes what happens, it will be really highly misleading. You will be having an iPhone underscore and all fine. All this thing will be misleading. So it, in the industry practice is what? They will not see what happens, the time actually. So uh, revision descending date is what? 752 will be the first one and then afterwards 750. So if you give a order, sorting order by the revision descending date. So the revision which has now got at 752 AM will be used to, for your transactions actually. Is it clear? Any doubts on this? No fine. So revision, the descending date is normally used. Revision number is very rarely used. Actually. Good, no doubts. Right? So we have got two revisions on the 001 arc, A and A1. Thank you very much. I will now give a save and close. Right? Click on save and close. So we are now creating it and go there. So click on it. We are now going to perform four transactions as per the plan actually. So the plan is what? The first transaction is the revision A, lot 101, and then 8th February is going to expire. Now go there. Click on. I have a question. Tell me, tell me. So when we have full revision, right? If the same sort of has an item, but does not specify the revision. Can I? Uh, we are I... going to specify the revision in the picking rule, actually. Okay. In the picking rule, we are going to specify the revision. Fine. Item sales order may not be having a revision number at all. Yes, very correct. In the, in the sales order, what happens? You won't be having any revision number at all. So, what happens? This is, while picking, it will now use this. Oh, okay. so it will not pick. I mean, uh, if the customer is not asked for the particular revision. Yeah, then yeah, yeah. Then if the picking rule is now having it, what happens? It will do it. But if it is not over there, what happens? It will be using a what happens? Absolute last interest order. If I, if an item is not covered by any picking rule, the default picking rule is what absolute last interest order. Whichever has come, what happens? The latest into the inventory that will be allocated first actually. That is called oh. absolute last interest order. Whichever has oh. latest, fine. That will be allocated automatically. It will not even consider any lot or revision or serial number. Nothing will be considered. If no picking rule is, is not governed by any picking rules, that will be the default picking rule which will be done by the system actually. All right. So that way it works. Any other questions? <laughs> Rama Rao, <clears throat> any questions? Hey, Rama Rao knows Tamil also, you know. <laughs> How come you learned Tamil? You worked in uh, Madras for some time, no? No, I studied in Chennai. Sorry. Oh, you studied in Madras. Okay, thank you. Yeah, in Chennai. Yes, Madras. Good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you see. Now what happens? We are going to make a reserve. I will not go to the place. Fine, go there. So I will not go to the inventory management. Fine, go there. So in this one, I will again go there. Click on it. I will not click on supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. 
So in this place, what happens? I am now going to perform four miscellaneous results. Now, fine, click on the create miscellaneous transactions and go there. Four, because time is also important for me. So I'll now make four different transactions. I will not go to the miscellaneous result now. So I will not put an account over there. I click on it. I will not save the account also. I click on search now. Fine. This is an offset account. Fine. We'll be seeing it this weekend now. Fine. This weekend we are going to see this now. Fine. So we are going to see the financial accounting for the miscellaneous transaction. So we'll be seeing about it in this week actually. I will not take off it. I will not go open up a notepad. Go there. This is the offset account. Fine. Fine. So the inventory valuation to offset account will be hit during accounting actually. And go there. I will not make it as yes, no fine. The cost, we are not considering it. Click on yes, no fine. Click on plus. I will not put the item on it. Click on that. So T0101. So T0101. I'm going to give it happen. Click on that. Click on that. So if the item is not visible, what happens if you expand it to be visible actually? Fine. Click on the edit details and then go there. So as per the plan, we are going to do it. And the plan is what? Don't go there. So the plan is what? A revision, lot 101. Fine. 8th February. Fine. So A revision, lot 101. 8th February is the expiry date. Fine. The first transaction. I will not make it as what A revision. Sub inventory, I will not. What happens? I bring it to stores. No. Store sub inventory. Oh, sorry. Store sub inventory. And, go that more. and then here, I will not. What happens? I go there. Lot is what? I will not say lot 101. Fine. Lot 102. So it's a lot underscore 101. You would have the expiry date is the mandatory one because the user defined one. And go there. So as per the plan, we will not give 8 to February. Click on it. I will not do what? 8th February. Drop down February. I will not make it as the 8th February. <clears throat> so go there. February is there. You know, the 8th February. 8th February is the expiry date. And then go for 100 quantities. Remember, you have to fill up the lot and then afterwards put the quantity. You know, and then the way you have to do it. So lot 101, 8th February, stores A revision now. Right? Click on OK and then click on submit. So by which what happens is this transaction is getting submitted. Any doubts? Good. <clears throat> right, click on so this first transaction is now simulated actually. It is going to be on time actually. Fine. Time is a very important one fine, because otherwise what am I doing it now? So the next transaction, what happens? Lot one, not two, on seventh February. <laughs> it was received first. This was received next actually <clears throat> on the same revision. So you click on it, and then we'll now go for it. So click on the create miscellaneous transaction again. Click on the create miscellaneous transaction. Now the time is coming. Fine. Now it is now performed at seven fifty-seven eight a.m. So the previous transaction will now go there and then have a look at my I want to wait for one more minute of time, maybe on 57 itself would have no fine go there. So what I do is I will now go there. I will now what happens have a look at the stock. Fine. Right click on then what happens the duplicate. We'll have a look at the stock. <laughs> because I want it to get delayed actually by one minute actually. <laughs> because uh, uh, it may not be giving you second size actually. That's what I can go there. Click on it. I will now go to what supply chain execution. <laughs> Supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. In the inventory management, you go there. You go to the item and go to the manage item quantities and then query for the item. No, fine. Go there. So, so T0101 and then you tap. The full item will be coming. Fine. Click on search. No, fine. It will not show you the item quantity. If you expand it, what happens? It will not show you. Fine. Expand. There's a revision here. Fine. Go there. And then it will go to the organization. Fine. Expand it. And then it will not show you sub inventory. And then it will not show you the lot. So, the lot will not go there. Okay. Fine. Good. So the lot is also. So click on the lot details. It will not show you the details of the lot also. When it was received, actually, so it was received at 757 a.m. only. Right? So, next one I want to be at 758 a.m. Which is what happens? I delayed it and go that click on it because it may not be sending the second. Actually, fine, I want to have the minute only. Fine, go that click on click. Now, see now it is 758 is okay. Fine, go that 758 is no sense. <laughs> Miscellaneous reserve. <laughs> I will now paste this account. Give it a tab now <laughs> and then click on this. But make yes and then click on plus one. I will not put the item over here. It is not 758 AM. So it's what? T0101 and then give it a tap. They're giving it a point. Click on the LED. This is also going to be year revision, actually. Right? Year revision. Go there. So here it is going to expire on 7th February. It's lot 102. Actually. Right? So I'll now go to the lot. No point. Go there. So stores is a sub inventory in which whatever we are receiving it. Once only put the lot will going fine. I will now say lot underscore 102. So it is going to expire on 7th February itself. I don't drop down. Make it a February. No. It's expiring before the first one. <clears throat> so go there. 7th February it is expiring. 7th 102 and then A stores. 7th February, fine. 102 and then A revision and then one of the stores. Any doubts? Fine. Any mistakes? Fine. So click on OK. Even if you make a mistake, please immediately point out to me. Fine. Click on OK. 
and then click on submit by which order the 758 the submission time it will not take only the date we are putting it will be taken off and the 758 will, you might be submitting it in 759 but the what am I, the rate of transaction is only 758 am so that is the deal. You must provide a value for the quantity over. If the quantity has got what I must say, gone, no fine. After the lot is done, what I mean, the quantity goes away and goes and then you have to give the quantity. Fine. Click on submit now. So by which what I mean, the transaction is not there. The transaction causes no issues, fine. It's on 758 now. So now I will now make another next one at A1 revision. I go A1 revision and then for lot 101. 9th February is the expiry date. <clears throat> So I want to be at 7.59 a.m. So click on it. We'll see whether 7.59 has come or 8 p.m. itself has come. Fine. What? 8 p.m. has come. Fine. I will not go to the miscellaneous reserve now. Fine. What? I will not go there. I will not paste this account. And then I make it as yes. Now fine. Click on it. I will not put the same item over here. Fine. Click on it. I'll not put it. Fine. The T0101 and then give a tap. And then I click on it. It is the 8 a.m. transaction. Now fine. I will not make it as what? A1 revision. Now fine. This is the A1 revision actually. Fine. The A1 revision. And then 101 lot on 9th February. Fine, go there. You know, go there. So, sub inventory is stores actually. <clears throat> stores is sub inventory. Go there. So, lot is what? 101. No. Fine, lot is 101. Lot underscore 101. Fine, go there. So, the expiry date is what? 9th of February. Go there. So, lot 101, it is automatically giving you this now. Fine, go there. So, the expiry, we cannot change at all. So, lot expiry, we cannot change. So, whatever you are given as a lot now, fine, go there. So, that expiry, we cannot change at all. Fine, go there. So I have to give a, a new lot only. Fine. A new lot, we can do it. Fine. So I will have to give a new lot. Fine. I will not make it as what? One not three. Fine. The same lot, we cannot have an expiry different different dates. That's what I'm saying. Fine. So I will not make it as four. Fine. New lot. I'm not giving it. Fine. So the lot cannot be same actually. Fine. That's what I'm fine. If you have a one not one, it is already expiring. So the number is coming automatically again. Fine. I will not make it as one not three. One not three is a lot. Fine. Fine. So here you go there. One not three lot is now expiring on nine. Is also I was not aware now, and I can give because revision is different, and so what I mean, lot camera lot is unique across revisions actually. And then this I was not knowing actually. Ninth February, and go that I wanted. I will not get as what ninth February, and go. I will not put hundred quantities. So it is one not three lot fine expiring on ninth February. So go the A one A one revision, and then one not three lot ninth of February. Fine, click on OK. And then click on commit. And click on submit. Which one the ATM transaction is now getting completed. It is not done now. <laughs> so the ATM transaction is not completed. Now we'll now go for the final transaction of 104. Now fine. 104. 6th of February. <laughs> so click on it. We'll now make the final transaction. Go to the create another transaction. It might be after ATM fine. 802A. Fine. So, 802 so go to the what happens? Miscellaneous reserve. Now fine. Go there. And then paste the account number. And then make it as yes. Now fine. Click on yes. And then so that click on trust. Here, what happens is the T0101 and give it a hand. And coming, fine, click on the edit details and then go there. And then revision is what you want. <clears throat> revision is what you want. And then the sub inventory is stores, no? <clears throat> stores is sub inventory, fine, go that tomorrow. And then here, I'll not put lot as 104. No? Lot underscore 104 is one, fine, go there. So this is going to expire on what? 6th of February. Go there, click on it. I will not drop down to February, so that it is now expiring on 6th of February. 6th of February, it is expiring. Fine, go for it. And go on it. I'm going to So go there. So stores each, then one not for lot. 6th of February, it is expiring. Fine, click on. Am I correct? Any mistakes? Fine, come in. So go there. Click on submit by which what happens. This transaction is also complete. Fine, they are all made in different, different timings. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll now go on and create what happens. The picking rule now. Fine, go there. So we must have, let us say, I have a completed sub unit also available now. Fine, if you go to this place, fine, go there. Come on. I will not show you two subunits. Go to the setup and minus. So in 001 org, we have got two subunits. Many subunits are there. I'm going to use this one. I click on search now. I go to the what? Manage subunits are located. Manage percentage. Sub percentage. Find look up percentage. We go there. And then uh, click on it. And then we'll have a look at the subunits. So we have a store subunit. And then uh, we have one, uh, what am I saying? One uh, uh, completed subunit. I'm not going to use these two things for our moment request. Fine. For the manual moment request, I'm going to pull it from the stores and then keep it on the completed sub inventory. That is what I'm going to do. So this is the way I'm going to do it. Now. So click on the fine. So from stores to completed, I'm going to move it now. So go there. I will know what happens. I create a picking rule now. Fine. Manage percentage fine. Pick percentage fine. Rule percentage. We'll now go to the picking rule fine. Call manager. So let us now create a new picking rule now. Fine. Click on it. So click on plus now. I will now create what? T01 <laughs> picking rule. 
my picking rule, I'm creating it for the take of it. And then click on the description. And then we can even have a shelf life. What happens in 30 days? If it is now beyond the 30 days, what happens? It will not pick at all. So material restrictions can also be given. What happens if it is a, what happens the remaining the shelf for more than 30 days or 50 days or 60 days? What happens? You ignore that. Right? That way you can do. So the first priority is what? Revision. So in the revision, ascending and descending, people normally don't use because it will not calculate the alpha numeric value of a revision number actually, ANA1. So sometimes what happens, it will be misleading. And so they don't use it, but the dates you use it. Revision effective date, descending is the one, best one. Because the latest revision is going to give you the, the best, uh, what about the properties of an item. Here, what about the, we are not given a brighter headlight. So that will be allocated first, and then if it is exhausted, then only it will go to the backdated ones. You know, you know, give it revision effective date. So once when you give a first priority as one now, fine go that. So this is these two transactions. We have made four transactions now out of which what happens? These two transactions become eligible for location actually. And then lot, what happens? I will not say first expiry, first order. Right? So first expiry, first order, I'm going to give you fine go on. I will not give for what happens. It is a normal practice of what whichever is going to expire first will be allocated first actually. Fine go so first expiry, first order is the one. I'm going to tomorrow. I'm not making the first expiry first order. And then what happens? I will not allow partial picking also from multiple transactions basically. We will not normally enforce single lot, otherwise, the customer wants it. What happens? They will not be enforcing a lot actually. So click on it. And then what happens? They go there. Click on save and close. Now you should not make it active actually. So you'll do make it after assignments only, you have to make it as active. And click on save and close. I'm not T01 picking rule is ready. And go there. Click on it. I will now go to the manage assignments. Now click on the manage assignments and then I'm going to create a new assignment. And click on plus now. And then go that the organization is what? 001. Give it app. <laughs> Sequence is one now. So the picking rule is what? T01. And then give it app. The picking rule. Uh, what happens? So the criteria, one of the criteria is a very important one. Fine. So I am now doing it on item. It is impossible to do on item because you'll be having 100,000 items. That means what? That 100,000 100, sequences you have to make. So normally it will be made for destination survey. Fine. That is the one. Fine. So we'll be putting for this destination subunity is the only criteria. All the items which are going to be destined for this, what happens? They will be governed by this assignment actually. Right? That is the best. So for training purposes, we are now choosing the item actually. So three zero one, and then zero one. And then give it the item will be. You won't be normally using because when you started to do an assignment for item wise, you will have hundred thousand items with hundred thousand sequences you have to create. Fine, that's very impossible actually. And one of the criteria is a mandatory. Otherwise, what happens? The picking rule will not be considered at all. So make it as active. And then what happens? You go there. You cannot make the rule assignment active because the rule itself is not active. Okay. Fine. What else? So I will not give a save and close because what happens? It is not. So you have to make it active and then I'll come over here and click on save and close. So the rule has to be made active. Then you have to do it. Fine. Go there. So the picking rule assignments keep it done now. Fine. We'll not make the rule active. First. So it is asking. I thought that the reverse manner of mine. So make the rule active and then save and close. Then we can assign it. No. Fine. Click on save and close. Now we'll not assign it. Assignment is possible. Go there. So click on what manage assignments and then edit the assignment actually. When select it and then click on edit. Now we can make it as active. So once we make it as active, what happens? The edit facility will be gone actually. Fine, click on active. The edit facility is gone. Fine, click on save and close by which what happens? The picking rule as well as the assignments are complete. Any doubts? Good, no doubts. Karti, clear, na? Can you say yes to me? <clears throat> Rama, can you say yes to me? And click on save. Yes, 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 no. Very good, very good. Now, what I'm going to do is I will not create a picking rule. I will not do, uh, go there, duplicate the what happens, the tab region. You duplicate the tab region, and then we will not create a picking rule. Go to the supply chain execution, then go to the inventory management, and then let us now create our first picking rule. Fine, click on it. We'll now go there. We'll now go to what? Create manage movement request. No, fine, click on manage movement request. However, the manual way of doing it is very rarely done. No, fine, click on it. It will all be automatic, actually. So three automatic means we already seen. So that only, so only for testing purposes are doing it. Very rarely they will not make the manual ones. T01 underscore one is the one. So I will not put this up and take over it. Put in the description of it. And then go there. So the request today, the transaction type is what? Movement request transfer. This issue will be used by projects actually. Fine, it is for account issue actually. Fine. So movement request transfer is the one. Fine, go there. So the destination subunit is completed. <coughs> <coughs> the source is based upon the assignment actually. Oh. So the picking rule is going to allocate the source, leave it as a choice. If you put a specific sub-inventory, it will not pick only from that sub-inventory. And so the picking rule will be discarded. Right? It will not be considering it. So leave it. So then what happens? The picking rule will come into picture. Right? So click on plus now. Fine. Go there. Click on plus. I will not put the item. Fine. So it is a T01. And then give it a now. Fine. You have got only one item. So item is coming. Fine. It is not visible. What happens? It expand it slightly. It will be visible. So the more request. I will not request the name quantities. 
destination is coming fine click on submit by which what amount they will be getting approved so i have also shown you about how to approve a moment request fine that also you see it fine if our approval required then what happens you have to use an approval route actually fine now it not t011 will be getting submitted it will be getting what happens approved pre approval you must provide a value for that revision attribute why not oh god since it is a revision controlled what happens it is now asking me to put a value for the revision number also <laughs> those will be ready, but there is no revision column at all fine is that so a requested quantity is there fine status fine whether so supplementary so but if it is an automatic one what happens everything will be coming automatically but since it is a manual one the revision attribute also is required actually fine. go to the view and then go to the columns now fine whether <laughs> the revision column has to be enabled so it needs a revision equipment uh the reference what happens all these things are coming fine whether so here we don't have any revision column at all I will not give a show on the on it. Any revision column is there, and you have a look at it now. Find on it. I will not go down. Ah, uh, the reference is there. Find on it. So it is not asking for me to put a revision number actually. So we don't have any column at all. Yeah, revision is there. It's fine. Let me enable the revision. So that means what? It will now pick up based upon the revision only. If I drop down, so the revision seems to be a mandatory one for the manual pick. For an automatic pick, it's okay. No? Revision number. So here, which one you wanted? No, fine. Revision, fine. I have to give you a one. That means what? My first criteria is already done actually by this one. Otherwise, when you're doing an automatic one, what happens? It will be picking up A1 only. So click on A1 and the A1. So the revision is a mandatory one. Fine. That's why. What happens? If it's a revision control, we have to give a revision number. Fine. No, also. Whereas an automatic one, no need to give. It will be picking up as per the picking rule. No? Thank you for submitting number. T01 underscore one. The moment request is submitted by that moment. No query the moment request. All right. So say T01 underscore one. And not now make a check. No? Take over it. And then put on this place. No? Make a search. No? Make a search. It will be a pre-approved one. Yeah. Pre now what you are going to do is we are now going to perform a release actually. So we are going to perform a release. Fine. In this place what happens? The pick release process will now allocate the material actually. We are going to allocate. Fine. So before allocation, if you go on and search for it, there will not be any allocation at all. Fine. 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 If you go there, if you go to the manager, you don't want to it. You will not try to see the allocation. Fine. 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 So you don't go there. Fine. Click on it. There will not be any allocation at all. Fine. You go to the manage reservations and picks. I have not shown you in the last training actually. Fine. This one I had I have forgotten to show you. Fine. Click on the manage reservation picks. Go there. And then query for a item. Fine. Fine. With a T0101, then give it app. And then make a search. You won't find any reservation at all. Folks. No reservation is fine. No bad. Because you are not allocated. Only when you release the item, <coughs> pick release. <laughs> upon pick release, the item gets reserved actually <laughs> for a particular moment request. Actually. So, only when you release, what happens, it will be getting reserved actually. So, that way it comes off, not coming. In. So, let us now run this now. Fine. So, I'll now go there, right click and then duplicate. Right click and duplicate. So, the moment request is not showing you this as a pre approved. Fine. We will now release this moment request. We will now go to this place. Fine. So, I will now go to the tools and then let us now release it. Fine. Go to the tools. And then you go to the schedule process by which what happens will now run the print move now. Fine, click on that schedule new process in which what happens we are going to run the print move. So print move is the one. Fine, give it up. So once we give a print move, what happens? It's not coming. Fine, click on okay. And then here, what happens? The organization is what? 001. And then the movement request is what? T01. If you give it up, the only one request will be coming or is not coming. Fine, drop it down and choose it. So go there. So it is a T01 underscore one. So that is the one now. I take it out it and then put another space. And then once when you give a go down and then here, what happens? You'll be having a moment request. Fine, go there. You'll now find a release now. Fine, go down. Fine. Release lines. So release approved lines. Make it as this. Then only what happens? It will be allocating it. Releasing is nothing but allocation. In e business, we call them as allocation. Here it is called as a release actually. Any doubts? So we are releasing it now. So T01 underscore one is going to be released actually. I click on submit. So click on submit. Which what happens? It will be done now. It is a pick movement request pick slip report. So report can be very well published actually. Can close it and then uh, wait for it to what happens to get completed. Actually. Movement request pick slip report. You know running. I think I will just kind of start the one. Kind of start the
So it's running now. So wait for it to complete. No, fine. It's now succeeded. Fine. You click on it and then it will now publish the output. So output can be very well published. Fine. Click on publish. Republish it. Click on it. You now go there. Uh, so click on the wheel icon. Export to PDF now. Fine. Export to PDF. We are now exporting it to PDF actually. Then click on it and then see the location actually. Now we can see that what happens there. 104 lot has got allocated because it's the first expiry first out. So it's the first expiry first out and go there. We go on and have a look at it. So it's the first expiry first out. 104 is going to expire first than 103. So this has got allocated actually. What in quantities? So 104 lot has got allocated. Stores to complete it. Is the A1 revision which you have given on the transaction form. Whereas when you're doing it automatically, no need to give any revision numbers at all. Right? When you're doing a material pick or when you're doing what you are say replenishment in replenishment and then when you're doing a pay, sales order pick wave fine those three things no need to specify it fine, because the system will be automatically driving those things fine it will be picked up from the space so 10 corner is got allocated actually. now what happens we have to perform a pick confirm activity so here the next activity is what pick confirmation <laughs> so the pick release process is now completed now this confirmation is nothing but pick confirmation actually fine pick confirmation about it so by which what happens they will be going to the completed sub medical Fine from this place, whatever they'll be going to the complete sub Fine, close it now. Close it and then close it. Go there. We will not perform a peak confirmation. Go there. So, here, what happens? The peaks will be coming now. Fine, it's not coming because we had to refresh it now. Fine. So, we won't try to refresh it. Not coming. There's no refresh icon at all. So, let us not come back to this inventory management. Fine. This is what happens to your uh, info let icon. Fine. Go there. So, click on it. We'll again come back to this place. Fine. Click on it. Now, go to some other place. Fine. Manage item on this. Go there. And then give it done now. Fine. Come back here. So click on that. Now you see you have got one open peak actually. So it is it is we can from it. Click on it. So click on this now. Fine, click on it. So the system is allocated what A1 revision, and then it is allocated the 104 lot, and then the sub inventory, everything it is allocated. If you click on it, what happens? It will not show all the things now. The peak has to be confirmed actually. Is the open one is not yet confirmed now. Fine, click on it. The open one. And then let us now perform a confirm now. We are going to perform a confirm. So click on the picks and then here we are going to perform a confirm. You, you click on the hyperlink on the pick slip now. Fine, click on the button. It's open, it's not in confirm now. Fine, select it. So, if the inventory in charge finds but what happens from the stores, we cannot move or the lot cannot move. What happens? You can very well change this. You can override the system's allocation basically. And then do that. And then go there. He is not changing anything. Fine, click on it. Click on confirm now. And then give a confirm and close actually. This is called pick confirmation now. Fine. There is one more thing called ship confirmation. We will be doing it in order management. It's a very complex one actually. So click on confirm and close by which what happens that we are confirming it for the staging survey. Now the system has given you a permissive to do it. So once when the system has given a permissive, what you have to do is you have to physically go and then print the pick slip report. You print the pick slip report and then that pin slip report will be telling you where exactly it is. I will show you the print pick slip report. We'll now go there. So I click on the home icon and then you go to the what tools and then go to the schedule process. Let us now print the pick slip report actually. I will not say it's called print pick. So pick slip report will be printed by the inventory in charge and then it will be handed over to the inventory boys for physical movement of material between the source and distribution. So from pick slip, if you don't know it, what happens is you go there and then give something else. No, fine, brother. So I don't know the pick slip numbers and all. Fine, brother. Order number. It's basically a movement request, manual movement request. I don't know whether it will accept it or not. Fine, brother. Ah, lines just to print. Front moment request is there. So go there, T01 underscore one now. Fine, go there. So I don't take away. So some of the parameters you can now print it. So go there. So click on submit by which one happens there. Uh, you must make at least one selection actually. Fine. What is this here? <laughs> Lines it is the print all. <laughs> Item display. <clears throat> Both. So they're all mandatory fields. Fine. Fine. Click on submit. So we are now printing it only for our moment request actually. Fine. Go there. Oh, invalid value T011. Come on. From moment request. Fine. Go there. Oh, it's not. We made the moment request now. Fine, so click on search now. Fine, click on search. T01. So click on search now. Fine. I don't know why it's not coming. Fine. I have a moment request called T01 underscore one now. It is not eligible for printing. How come? We cancel. I will not. I will delete everything. No idea at all. Anybody has got an idea why it's not coming now? The pick slip report is okay. Fine. From pick slip, if it drop down, we will now see the latest picks now. Now go there. So I want to do the latest one. Fine, maybe the pick slip is what one zero four zero and one zero four zero. And then here now no submit it now. Fine, come pick slip. 
So click on submit now and see the latest picks. So it's not done. Fine. It is again a report actually. Fine. We can very well publish it. We close it and then refresh it now. Fine. Refresh it. And then how about it? It's not running. Why your movement request is not coming? For picking no. <laughs> It is already confirmed actually. Maybe before confirmation, you have to print or what? I'm not really sure about it. But once when the allocation is completed, you have to print it and then afterwards only you have to confirm it or not at all. <laughs> We will not try in the next one. Thank you. So print pixel report will go there. Now have a look at it. Yes, so printing itself is a confirmation. Printing itself is a, not a confirmation actually. It is only going to be given to the inventory boys to what happens to do it now. Yeah, anything on paper is always considered a confirmation. Uh, uh -huh. No data right. found. Come on. Yeah, nothing is coming. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the pick number now. Fine. Uh, how to see the pick number actually? I will not go there. Thank you. Right. Uh, because it's already confirmed actually. Fine, click on it. Now go to the what supply chain execution. You know, try to find out the pick slip number actually. Fine, we are not going to know. We'll not go to the supply chain execution. You no, know, make an RD. Fine, click on it. We'll not go to the inventory management. I'll not go there. I will not go to what this top what happens is there. What happens? You go there. I will not go to the picks itself. Fine. Go to the picks now. Fine, click on the picks. And then what happens there? I will now create pick, confirm pick, schedule pick, way fine, create out. I will now go to what I'll confirm picks now. Fine. So here, what happens, I will now put the movement request number now, fine, equals to fine, T01 underscore 1 now. And then uh, uh, I want how it was, uh, shipping status, shipment is okay. Ah, keep on searching, it will not show anything at all. Because what happens, it is already confirmed now, fine. So nothing there to confirm actually. How to see a confirmed pick actually? Ah. It's already confirmed on time, C01 underscore 1. It will not be there at all. Okay, next one, what happens? They will not do that. No, fine. They will not do it. They will not accepting it. So it is already confirmed. So nothing is there to confirm. Now, what I'm going to do is what? I will now make a chain. No, fine. Click on it. In this one, I'm going to make a chain. So here, what happens? It is not a, a latest ascending. Fine. I will not change it to what? Yay revision, actually. This is what is ascending. Revision ascending date, actually. Fine. The revision ascending date, I'm going to give it. So I will not make a change of this. Go that so I will know what happens. You go there, go to the manage picking rules. Fine, go that mode. So the picking rule, fine. Go there. So if you try to edit it, it will not allow at all. Fine, come on, edit. What happens? It will not allow. What happens? They go there. Edit picking rule. Uh, what happens? I have not saved it. Fine, click on save and close. Fine, click on edit now. Fine, click on it. And then it is not give a cancel now. Fine, go there. What is the mistake I made now? Fine, click on it. I will not go to what click on done now. Fine, edit picking rule assignments. Fine, click on the now. And then here, what happens? You go there. Another one now. Fine. Click on the manage assignments. The manage assignments. Click on edit now. Fine. Click on edit. And then it's already active actually. It's already active. Fine. You cancel now. And then what happens? You go there. Close the manage picking rules. Fine. Thank okay. you. Then go there. So you select it and then click on the what happens? Edit now. Fine. So here it has to come as grayed out. Yeah. You now coming as grayed out. So I think I have not done the proper one actually. <laughs> fine. Fine. Lost. First expiry. First order there. Now I want to change this now. <clears throat> Revision event date ascending it. So you don't have you're not possible for you to do it now. Fine. You cancel now. Fine. And then come back to the assignments and then remove the assignments. Now click on it. So all the assignments has to be removed. Fine. Remove the activists. Then only we can edit the picking rule. Fine. So if there are multiple assignments there, all the active has to be removed. And then afterwards, done and then click on edit. <laughs> Go there. Now you can edit. Fine. Click on it. Now what happens? It will be allowing you to edit actually. Mm -hmm. So click on it. Revision dates, but since it is not, not allowing me to edit actually, then give a cancel now. Cancel. And then <laughs> select it. And then go to the manage assignments. So it is still active only. Right? I will not edit it. And then remove the activeness and then give a save and close. Now. Activeness is removed. Fine. Click on save and close. So the activeness has to go now. Fine. Click on done. And then come out. So the active has to go now on the assignments. Now you go there and then click on edit. It will now allow you to edit actually. Right? It will now allow you. Right? Remove the activeness. Then edit now. So I will not make it as what? Revision date ascending. So A will be allocated. But in our case, what happens? It is asking for a revision number of the movement request also in the manual order. But in reality, what happens? It will be picking up the revision automatically based upon the picking rule actually. So lot first expiry, first order is okay. Fine. Well, what is, fine. Give us save. Give a, what happens? Uh, make it active and then save and close. Make it active and then save and close. Now you assign it to that one. So change it and then make it as active and then go to the manage assignments and then go there. So click on it. And then make it as active. So click on save and close by which order is not complete. So it is a result ascending now. Fine, go there. So let us now go to the manage movement request and then we'll now create a new one. Click on that. 
the second movement request, I'm going to create a fine click on it. We'll not get the second movement request. So go to the manage movement request, fine click on it, not get a second movement request. Click on this. So T012, I'm going to make it no fine click on it. So the movement request is what? T01 underscore tool. And then go there, take off it, and then the description. And then go there. It is a movement request transfer, no fine. So the distribution survey node is going to be completed. And then go there, click on plus no fine. And then go there. So T01, 0. Now it is asking for a revision, fine. Manual only it is asking for automatic, it will never ask for. I'm not going to put It is the first expiry, first route again. So first expiry, first route means what? Here, the 102 lot is expiring first actually. 102 lot will be. So previously, what happened? 104 has come now. 102 lot is expiring first. So that will be allocated actually. So, uh, so A revision, fine, go there, 10 days, go there. first expiry, first road, and then revision is what? Ascending, actually, fine, click on survey. But revision, it is not sensing, it is not sensing only through this place, no, fine, click on, okay, no, fine. You go to the monitor process, and then go there. if you make a search, no, fine, go there. It is the T01 underscore 2, no, fine. And then T01 underscore 2. And, go there. and then make a search. It will not show as a pre-approved one, no, fine, the pre-approved. Fine, you go to the monitor process, and then we will not run again, no, fine, click on the shitty new process, no. And then print pick slip report, no, it is all, it's a print move. So we will now run the print move now. So print move is the one. Right? Well, I click on OK. We are running it. So it's the one. We are going to run it. Okay. Organization is what? 001. Right? Well, that's so it is a T01 underscore 2 now. Right? Well, so we will now take a copy of it. And then uh, put on the two movement request. Right? Well, so we will now what happens, go down and then release it now. Mm -hmm. Release the approved line is yes. No, fine. Then only what happens, it will allock it actually. Release the approved line is yes. Fine. Click on submit. Fine. Click on submit. By which it is now getting reduced. Actually. So close it and then what happens? The refresh it. So the print moment request. Now, what happens? You can now see one or two will be allocated because it's the first expiry, first order. Click on it. So print moment request, take slip report is now completed. It is now good success. So click on it and then we know how to look at it. So click on it and then go there. Click on it. And then you can go and then export to PDF. Fine, click on export to PDF. Now you can see that it will be printed. Now fine, click on it. Now open. So now we can see one or two lot is allocated because that is expiring first actually. It doesn't show me the expiry date. I mean, expiry date is not shown here, but it is allocated as per the picking rule actually. <laughs> no more. So 10 point is allocated. No, no, lot one or two. It's an open pick actually. We'll now see the pick slip report actually. <laughs> this is a pick slip number actually. I will not take a copy of the pixel. So before we confirm the pixel, we will not try to what happens the printed action. Go there. We'll not go to the monitor process. We'll not go to the place. We'll not try to print it actually. Mm -hmm. So it's a print pick. <sighs> print pick is the one. I'm going to wait now. Fine, click on it. We will not try to print the pixel report itself. So organization ship from organization is what? 001. Fine, go there. From pick is this. And then give it app now. Fine. It's a two pick. So we'll not give this two information. Fine, go there. So moment request is not getting honored now. I don't know. Maybe before pick confirmation, we had to give the moment request or not. I'm not sure about it. If you drop down and then see whether we are getting the T01, anything or not, fine, click on search now. Fine, click on search. And then I will now query for the T01, fine, T01. And then make a search now, fine. Fine, try. No bother. I don't know why it's not coming. Moment request is not coming at all. Now, we have a pick slip report. We will not try to submit it. Now, here is no mandatory fees. Fine, I will not say all. And then go both. And then click on survey now. Fine. So this pink, pink is the, we'll not see whether the pick slip is now getting printed or not. Okay. There is some mistake which I'm making. I'm not able to understand now. Fine. So it is not done. Fine. Click on close now. Fine. No. Wait for the output to come. Print pick slip report is now running now. Thank you. So since it is a year revision, but uh, we are now given manual year revision, but otherwise also what happens? It will be allocating the year revision only. <clears throat> Manual movement record is not going. Fine, go there. So we'll now republish it and click on it. And then we'll now go there. So click on it, export to PDF. And then we'll now have a look at the pixel report. Fine, go there. No data found. Come on here. Why it is not coming? Pixel reports are not getting printed at all. <coughs> we are in the appropriate org only. Fine. <coughs> so pixel reports are not getting printed. I don't know what is the reason for this. So whereas you, this movement request pick slip report is not coming, fine, but based upon the picking, what happens? It is not coming at all. There may be any role which is missing or not. I'm not sure about it. Okay. But 001 has got all the roles because we have got a OUSCM role which has got every role as such. No, fine. Role is not a problem as such. Okay. 
printing is a problem. If anybody finds a lot, please tell me. Why the printing is not happening? So in the third exercise, what I'm going to do is what? Close it. So we have seen what? Uh, the ascending, descending, fine. If you give it, whatever they'll be going but we are giving it, fine. But the expiry is also coming. Expiry is coming. So whichever is expiring first lot, whatever is the first expiry, first lot, will So we have got 90 here. We have got 90 here, no fine. So we have got whatever is the 90 here. So I will now go for around, say, there's a 250 quantities. So for this one, if you give a 250 quantities, what happens, it will be allocating the first three, actually. Fine. I will not change it to what? First in, first out. Instead of first expiry, first out, I will not make it as what? First in, first out, actually. Fine. First expiry means what? Six will be allocated. If you make first in first order, no, no, this one will be allocated. So one, two, and then three will be allocated. If it is going to be first in first order, actually. Now check that now. Fine. Go to the manage picking post. So click on what happens. You go there. I will now manage picking rule assignments. Fine. You'll now edit it. I'll now remove the activeness. Then only what happens. You can now change the picking rule actually. And click on save and close. The activeness is gone now. And click on done. And then we'll now edit it. So in the manage picking rules, fine. Go there. Click on edit now. I'm going to make a change now. So click on remove the activeness. And then here, what happens? There is a last first expiry first order. There is a first in first order. So the first three transactions will be honored actually. To go there. So here, what about the first three transactions? Because we receive this first, then next this. So you will be allocating only for these three things. Because 250 quantities is available very much on these three things now. Right? One not one, one not one, not three. So these three transactions will be allocated. So put it the first in first order. Very rarely the first in first order is used actually in the industry. So make it as active and then what about the save and close now? And seven close. <laughs> so click on seven close. And then here you go there. And then click on the manage assignments. And then you know, but we go there. Click on it. And then you know, make it as active. And then save and close. So the activeness is here now. Fine. Click on done. Fine. By no done. So we will now make the third moment request for this. Now fine. Go there. You know, go there. Go to the manage moment request. And then click on plus. Now fine. Now make the third moment request. So go there. Is it T01 underscore three now? And then go there. It is now that there's a motor cost transfer actually. So the distribution submitting is completed. Completed the one. You know that. So I'll now go there. Click on plus now. On the two zero one. And then give it up. And then yeah, revision number is what? I will now say if I give A, what will happen? I don't know. Fine. Because our 250 quantity is now going to be beyond A actually. Got it now. Fine. We'll now see what how much it is getting allocated. Fine. Right? So we have need to only and all that we need on across revisions actually. And go there. So revision number is a manager 250. You'll now put the point with a 250. And then what about your tab? And then if you give a submit, it says revision is a mandatory one. Fine, click on submit now. It says value for the revision at the book. Oh god. This is a very strange one now. Fine, click on it. <laughs> it's the first in first road, actually. Fine, go there. So 251 and go there. Uh, so submit is blank. Fine, click on submit. <laughs> T013. We will not try to do the printing now. Fine, click on it. We will not try to allocate it. And then go there and then query for the three now. Click on it. And then query for the three now. Now, from two to three, if you see what happens, the two is completed actually. Two to three, if you go on and see what happens, the two is already completed. Oh, it is the, what happens, the two. <coughs> Give it up. Oh, God. What is this? Fine. T01 underscore two to T01 underscore three. Now. So I'm not putting it up. T01 underscore three. So two to three. If you make a search, no fine, click on search. It will not show the two is completed. <laughs> uh moment request two fine is not showing only the pre-approval fine. The status is not shown at all. And big confirmation is already completed, actually. Oh, the second one I not completed or the two I have not completed, I think. I have not done the big confirmation actually. Fine. If you go there and then going well, one only I have completed, I think. <sighs> only one I have completed. I know that what? So only one has completed no fine, it's closed actually. So two and three is not done. But right. we'll now go to the what happens. You go to the uh, inventory manager. Fine for that. So click on again. Fine. Click on one pick is now confirmed. Fine. Click on it. We'll see whether it's not coming up or not. Right. That we are not confirmed it actually. So once it is confirmed, it will now say the moment request is closed actually. So click on picks now. <clears throat> one is not completed. You can go there and then have a look at it. Zero zero one R. So we are now clicking on the picks now. Fine. I think it may be a older screen actually. It's not showing you fine, it's okay. I'm not showing you. Uh, open is zero, confirmed is one. Now fine, there's not a one. Now. So this is not a one, fine. Right? So click on it done. And then what happens? We had, oh, now it's coming. Okay. So two is coming, fine. Go there. It is a confirmed today, and then this is the open one. Now it's two. So you click on the open one. We can also query via the uh, navigation also. I click on it. And then open one, let me confirm it. No confirm it. 
So M1 confirming it, central one attack, M1 confirming it. So the open one, I'm confirming it actually. So click on the hyperlink of the pick slip and then select all and then here whatever you go that enter and so you log on to find click on confirm and close. I'm not confirming it actually. It will go on now and click on that and then you can now see that it will be having only one color that both are confirmed actually. Let us now run the what happens that your print move on the process. Find that one. So submit a new process and run the print move. I don't know how it will happen because what happens, you know, across revisions actually. Now we are given a revision only in the, in the transactional form. You know, see what happens. <coughs> zero, zero, one. Here, what happens if you give T01 and then give it tap, it has to show me all the things. You can drop it down. So here, I'm not showing all. I click on search now. So click on search T013 has to come up. Click on search T01 underscore 3 has to come up. Come on, it is not coming. How come? T01. Uh, where is that one woman? T01 underscore three is there. It's the pre approved one actually. Find the pre approved one. And then in the monitor process, whatever they go there. And then query for the T01. One and two are only coming. Three is not coming. Come on, what is this? <laughs> Since here division is not having sufficient middle, is not coming or what? Oh, God. So T01 underscore 3 is not coming at all. Man is not picking the goods something like that. Man moment across. What is the problem in this one? So in A revision, we don't have any sufficient quantity, so we cannot allocate it or you know, go there and then try to edit it. No, I click on it. No, edit it. So go to this place, my word. Options. And then can I edit it? It's not possible at all. Not possible at all. So T01 underscore 3 is not coming at all. The pre approved one. Oh, God. So let us now create T01 underscore 4 and then see whether it is now coming in this list of values or not. Not coming in the list of values at all. So if you go and then put T01 underscore 3, I will not put it anyhow. Right? T01 underscore 3. Even though it's not coming, I'm not putting this number. I will not put the release approved line as yes. No. I'll keep on submit. Let's see what happens. It is not done. So click on submit. You are now submitting it actually. So click on OK. And then close it. And then have a look. Print moment because Pixel report is not running. So the Pixel report is coming. So we now publish it. How it is going to allow it? Uh, allow it and fail or not? Huh? Yeah, no, ma. Yeah, no, Succeeded and click on the republish. Republish and go over it. So click on the wheel icon, export to PDF. Now, right? click on the wheel icon and export to PDF. So it's not done. Click on it and go open it up and go down. Open it up. So now what happens? Uh, we can now got what happens uh, on year revision. It has allocated what uh, 190 actually. Man, right? you have 100 on lot 101. We have got 100 and then lot 102. We have got 90, but we need 250 now. Right? So that means what? It has allocated only this much actually. So that means what? If you're giving this now, fine. So if you give only year revision means what? One not one or not two, fine. But when you're doing it from the system, you won't give the revision at all. Fine. At the time, what happens? It will be taking the third one also until they allocate it. Getting it now, fine. So we have got 100 on one of the lots and then 90 on one of the lots. So only these two things are only allocated actually. Lot one not one is having 100. It was we are not tested it all. Only lot one or two based upon the uh, what happens the first expiry first order it has not got allocated and then has gone. So 100 plus 90 is only allocated. The third line is coming because we are now given the revision. But when you are doing the automatic pick, either through what happens your uh, uh, moment request, uh, you are going to give what your uh, uh, material pick or otherwise uh, replenishment moment request or otherwise a pick wave moment request, we won't be giving the revision at all. Fine, it will be coming automatically and then it will be getting allocated as per the picking rules actually. So it was able to allocate only 190. The remaining was not got allocated. Are you sure? Clear? Karthi and then Rama Rao. Yeah, just remember. Yeah, I'm just going through. Yeah, tell me. By the way, we should be gone. So that is the way what happens. It is not going ahead at all. In the automatic one, you won't find it. If you go there, click on it. 
and then so, here the question yeah. here. So yes. this is the basic uh, pick, right? Like if payment warehouse module, right? Yeah. Do we have any advanced uh, like uh, maybe you will be having advanced parameters? You have to what happens? Learn the warehouse management system. Fine. Lockfire warehouse management system. If you go that what happens? You'll be finding even much more advanced concepts on this. Okay. So the picking here is simplest one. Yeah, here is a very simple one. Yes, it's a simple way of picking based on the lot four criteria basically. Uh, being a simple it's a complex for us initially. Yeah. <laughs> but it will be even very complex in some scenarios because my students have got stuck on this. They have okay. coupled this uh, picking rule along with the material status actually. There are certain uh, what about the lots and serial numbers which will not be allowed actually. So they dissolve it and then there the picking comes into problem actually. Okay. That is why they say Sir, we have item but it is not getting allocated. What is the reason? Then afterwards you go dig dig and then you will not say that it is already dissolved. So certain disallows will cause all the problems for you. No, fine. You'll be finding it really very complex. So uh, I, oh, one or two, uh, what happens? Uh, my students' problem, I couldn't answer at all. Fine. I asked that make SR. So Oracle came in and then they dig, dig, and then they give the solution actually. Fine. Where exactly it has got stuck actually. <laughs> it's really very difficult in the field actually. It's a very very complex situation actually. Okay. So that's it. If you go to the one thing is what I am unable to print the pick slip. No, I don't know why it's so. Print pick is not coming at all. If you go there. Print pick is not working at all. The pick slip I am unable to print. Print pick. Give it a Pick slips must be printable actually. But uh, there is something which is now stopping from doing it now. Fine. I will not make it as a blank actually. Fine. All. Uh, Item and both now, and then I won't give any pick slips and then clear up it now. Thank you for something. We'll see whether it works or not. Whether my picks are coming or not. Thank you for So close it now. I give a pick slip, otherwise, even my what happens? The moment request number is also not coming actually. Like in this case, what happens? I have not, uh, it's not getting listed, but it is accepting it. So maybe if I uh, run uh, with that uh, moment request number, probably it will not print anything. So pick, pick slip report. This is basically a huge number. You know, succeed in because so many things are already there actually. This one. And then I click on republish and then have whatever it is. I'll go there. Export to PDF. I don't want to export to PDF. Loading, loading, loading. So many of my data will be there actually. Processing. Fine. So because what happens, the report completed. So you can go there and then see nothing. There will be so many pick slips. How many pages? It is a 2023 pages, Bob. We cannot do it. <laughs> we cannot see it actually, man. It's all yes, man. So many things are so it is a ping now, man. So this will be basically what it will be formatted by the technical team. So that the inventory boy will be able to understand the left hand side is a source, and the right hand side will be what the staging area, man, where exactly is speaking. So which number, which item number, which lot serial number, everything will be basically configured by the technical team. Every company will be having a pre-printed stationery on which what happens will be printed actually. Let me try to do this now. I click on it. I will not. What happens? I will not try to put this also. Find what I want. I will not go to the more problems. I will not go to schedule new problems again. Print pick slip report. Find what I want. So organization is what zero zero one. So from pick slip number, from moment request number, I will not say T zero one underscore three because it is not coming in the list. But I think it will accept it. Not wait. So it is not coming in the list of values. So I am not putting it and then click on submit. Now find will not see whether it prints or not. You must make at least one selection out of this one. You want to make it as all, no point. No. And then item display is both. No. So click on T01, let's go three, click on something. No. I will not see whether it gives it up. Invalid value, oh God. <laughs> we have a valid value, fine. It is not checking. In the previous case, it didn't say invalid, no one. It accepted it, actually. And whereas in this place, what happens, it is not accepting it. Enough about it. From order number, I will not see the T zero one underscore three. The T zero one underscore three will now remove this one. Now see, you cancel. Delete it. Delete it. Will not see. No. So T zero one will not see. Order number will not see. No. Click on submit. Invalid value. Here also it's invalid value. How to give it? Now, brother, not allowing me at all. Customer is what. There is no customer at all. We don't have any customer here because it's an internal one. We're not a customer actually. 
they should have put an item also in this. Now, fine, item is not there actually. This is another problem. From organization, shift from organization is that easy to one. So, print pixelip report, fine, no, no, make it as blank and then what happens? I go there. E01 underscore three. So organization is blank actually because you're not shipping it from another place to other place. Now I click on it accepts it. Okay. Try to make an RD fine. There may be something which is missing because of which the print pixel report is not coming properly. <laughs> Otherwise, it will not work. So with this, uh, we complete our what was the demonstration of the moment request and then the picking rules for revision and then lot expiry actually in this combination. But we are forced to put the revision number on the transaction lines. Fine. But uh, in an automatic one, we will not be putting it, and then so it will be coming up automatically. Is it uh, interesting, Karthi? Yeah, yeah, very much. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, but the last session we are kind of connected now. Uh, right. As you said, like we need to explore a lot, and then uh, yeah, yeah, you have to explore a lot, no? Right? Our knowledge is working fine, but then, then according to it. Thank you. Okay. So when you do an automatic movement request, we will be doing a replenishment movement request. At the time, what happens? You test everything now, right? And then uh, you can see all these allocations happening now appropriately. Yeah, yeah. We end up with more doubts. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. during a replenishment movement request, I will not be able to demonstrate the speaking rule because I have got a lot to demonstrate now, basically. So I will not be what happens, configuring any speaking rule. It will be an absolute last in first out. And so what happens will be done. But you can try with all the controls and then what happens, I put the speaking rules also along with the replenishment section. Because replenishment, I won't have time to test this actually. Sure. <laughs> yes, Ramarao. Uh, okay, Nafine, it's clear now. Nah? You have to do a lot of R&D on this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So bye for now. And then we will now meet on Saturday and then we will now begin the complex topic of what? Your uh, financial accounting. Right? Well, inventory valuation to offset for a miscellaneous transaction will now begin. How to set up the costing and then how to see this, we'll not go to see them. Sure. Bye for now. Okay, Bye.